Hey guys, what's going on? Frank Rich here, Rebuilt Recovery. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about your ADHD and how your use and compulsive behavior with pornography is ultimately leading you to not be able to focus, to not stay on track with the things that you're trying to accomplish in your life. And ultimately, this is keeping you wrapped up in this relapse recovery cycle that you constantly are finding yourself in. But before we jump into today's video, guys, let me remind you who we are and what we do here. My name is Frank Rich, CEO, founder, and head coach at Rebuilt Recovery, and it is our mission to help men break free from the shackles of porn addiction through the power of faith and fitness. Now, we do that in a handful of different ways. First off, right here on the Rebuild Your Life YouTube channel, we are releasing new videos every single day, Monday through Friday at this point. So if you're new to the channel and haven't done so yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button right there and also turn those post notifications on so you are notified every single time a new video is released. And secondly, for you guys in the early stage of trying to identify all the ways in which porn has had a negative impact on your life and are curious about what life can look like for you once you've been able to remove this destructive habit out of your life, make sure to download our free ebook. It's a seven step guide to living life without porn where I walk you through the exact process that we use with our students and clients here at Rebuilt Recovery on how to identify all those ways in which porn is negatively impacting your life. How to then take that and build a proactive plan to get you out of the depths of this addiction and stepping into the life that you were created to live. But most importantly, what do you need to do to hold yourself accountable? What do you need to do to build up the discipline, build the willpower, and actually execute upon your plan every single day so that you can, in fact, step out of this compulsive behavior and step into the life that you were created to live? So that's a seven-step guide to living life without porn. I'm going to link it down there in the first pinned comment below. So after today's video, guys, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to visit that page and download the book. But let's get back to today's video, guys. ADHD. Is your ADHD and lack of ability to focus and complete things and always feeling like you got to go get a dopamine hit, is this a result of your porn addiction and what can you do about it? You know, I speak with so many men on a weekly basis through our coaching calls, through the consultations that we're doing and just messages that I'm receiving from you on a daily basis. I'm so grateful for what you guys are sending to me. I keep sending the questions, keep sending the messages. But one of the biggest problems that I run into or one of the biggest things that I keep hearing from men is that I cannot focus, I cannot feel like I get anything done. I need a dopamine hit, I need a release, I need more porn every couple hours. And I can just tell you from my personal experience, you know, from about 2016 to 2018 when I was probably in the deepest depths of my addiction. You know, I was trying to start a business. I, I had been running a business online and we had a little bit of financial success, but that one was crumbling, the industry was shifting, and I was ready to make a pivot and make, uh, make a change. And that's when I got into the online marketing space. And I can remember, you know, I felt like I was consuming so much information. I felt like I was attempting uh, to really build this, this company. But when I look back at it now, I realized that I was bouncing from thing to thing, idea, shiny object over here, the new course, the new book, the new idea, the new plan, whatever it was doing. I, in fact, suffered with it. I, I, I didn't correlate it at the time. It wasn't until late 2018 when I began to really explore what porn was doing to my brain that I realized that all of my inability to focus, all of the shiny object syndrome was, in fact, a result of me consuming pornography for almost two decades. You know, if you guys haven't done so yet, make sure to go listen to the conversations that I had with leading neuroscientist and professor, Dr. Trish Lee. We talked about in our first conversation how porn alters the baseline of your brain. It literally, from first or second consumption, it begins to change your baseline of where your brain operates at. Now, our bodies are designed for homeostasis. We always want to be at a level of just operating functionally and at a baseline. So if we've input something that changes what that baseline is, then we're constantly going to need that stimulus to bring it up, to bring it back to that level. That's why when you're when you feel like you're trying to get out of porn, when you feel like you're trying to stop, when you feel like you're trying to reboot or rewire your brain, you start getting this mush brain. You're like, I can't focus on doing anything. It's like you need that hit. It's like the drug addict that is going through, you know, is going through a recovery and he's having the withdrawals. Now we don't go through as 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 people suffering with porn addiction, we don't go through the physical withdrawals. You know, I'm sure you guys have maybe seen in the movies or even watched in, in some documentaries, maybe you know some people in your life, or maybe you've experienced this yourself. When you when you remove you know, real hardcore drugs from your body, your body goes through this withdrawal period. We don't have that same uh, effect because there's not a real physical drive. Porn addiction is more correlated with, with a brain addiction. So our brains are gonna need this hit of dopamine. And understanding that porn is a super normal stimulus, it brings our level to, you know, it brings our, our, our brain to a level that we're not gonna get from any other stimulus out there in the world. So when we're trying to quit, when we're trying to remove 
porn. You know, the first couple days are easy. You're riding a little bit of adrenaline. You're excited about, hey, I'm finally ready to do this. I'm finally ready to commit this plan. I'm finally ready to take back control of my life. But once you get to that day three, day five, maybe day six, day seven, you begin to get irritable. You begin to unfocus and like, I need something. I need something. So you end up relapsing and going back to your patterns of behavior just because it's going to bring you back to a level of baseline. Now, obviously, this is for those of you that are trying to quit and, and are taking the steps to remove it. So be aware of it. If you're looking to get out of porn, if you're looking to reboot and rewire your brain, you will have to suffer through some of these uh, some of these withdrawal symptoms. Now, for those of you that are still caught up in the cycle and you're like, I can't get anything done. It's like I need porn every morning just to get my day started. Then I make it to lunch and then I need another hit of porn. Then by the time I get home, I'm irritable and I'm un you know, unable to focus. And I just don't get anything done because every two, three hours, it's like I need that other hit. It's, it's, it's a drug. Porn is a drug on your brain. It's elevating the baseline. It's causing you to need that stimulus because the super normal stimulus that you're getting from porn, internet streaming pornography, hardcore, graphic, infinite supply of whatever genre, whatever material, it is not designed, we are not designed for it. So we have to understand that this is ultimately changing the neurochemistry of our brain. And if we don't take back control, if we don't begin to take the steps needed to get back in the driver's seat of our life and of our brain, then ultimately we're just gonna spiral out of control. And if you think it's bad now, you think what you're suffering with after five years, after maybe a decade, then give it another 10 years, give it another 20 years if you don't begin to change your patterns of behavior, you don't begin to change your habitual use of pornography. Now what can you do? How can you begin to maybe deal with some of this ADHD or, or, or lack of focus. You know, I don't really like the term ADHD because I think that's just a, I think that's a medical label that, that falls, that people fall victim to. And then you think you need a drug, then you think you need this prescription medication. I don't believe that is the case. I believe we all have the ability to, to reset our brains, to rewire and, and reboot our brains so that we're in the driver's seat. Now, the first couple steps you need to take is you need to have a bigger vision for your life. In order to know what you're gonna do tomorrow, you need to know what that tomorrow is moving you closer towards. So I always talk about building a big aim, a vision for your life, maybe three years, maybe five years into the future. Once you've established where it is you're trying to go, what is your career trying to look like? What type of job, what type of business are you trying to launch? What type of body are you trying to build? What type of relationships are you trying to create in and around your life. Once you know those bigger picture goals, then you can begin to set small quarterly or yearly goals. And once you have the smaller ones, then you can establish, okay, this is what I need to do today. This is what I need to do tomorrow. And if you're caught up in this and you're really struggling just with knowing what to get done and you just feel like your days just go one after another and you never get anything accomplished, one thing you should do is that before you go to bed every single night, plan the next day out. What time am I waking up? What are the first three things that I'm gonna do? What is my morning routine looking like? What time do I need to leave my house if I have to drive to work to get there on time? Once I'm at work, what are the first couple of things that I need to be jumping into? What are the first couple of projects that I need to be tackling? Once I'm done with work or once the meal, you know, once lunchtime hits, what am I having for lunch? Once I'm done with that, am I going straight to the gym? Am I gonna come home first, walk the dog, change my clothes and then go to the gym? What am I gonna eat for dinner? What is gonna be my routine after I'm back at home from the gym and how am I gonna wind down from the day. If you can plan your next day the night before and you have it fully scripted out, two things are gonna happen. You have a plan that you can't devolve from. It's literally scripted out and, and you took the time to commit to yourself. Now, if you don't commit to what you wrote out, brother, that's on you. And I say all the time, self-confidence is built and kept by keeping the promises we make to ourselves. So if you took the time to, to put the plan together, then it's on you, then it's on your discipline, then it's on your ability to execute upon your plan. But secondly, while you sleep, your subconscious is gonna be working on actually how can you piece this together? Though This is what's amazing about our brains and this is what's amazing about our bodies is when we're sleeping, when we get into that deep REM sleep, this is when our body is beginning to repair itself and you literally will develop plans to make your life become a reality. You gotta start using the natural tools that we've been given to equip yourself with the tools to create the life that you wanna live, okay? so. Is porn ultimately the cause of your ADHD? If you're stuck in the cycle and you're consuming it at all, then absolutely yes. It may not be the only 
thing causing it. There may be some nutrition things you need to look at. There may need to be other planning and systems that you need to look at building into your life. But if you're consuming porn on even a somewhat regular basis, then understand that it's a drug that is impacting your brain. It's impacting your ability to focus. And it's on you to quit porn, but then reboot and rewire your brain. But I really hope this video spoke to you. I hope that it was helpful. We're continuing to elevate uh, our level of content here. We're, we're curious about what type of questions that you have. So don't, you know, don't hesitate to comment below. Send me an email at frankrich.fitness at gmail.com with all your questions. And I'd love to create a video specifically to help you. But that's it, guys. Frank Rich from Rebuilt Recovery. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to download the seven-step guide to living life without porn. Also, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to this channel so you are notified every single time a new video is released. But Frank Rich from Rebuilt Recovery, I'll see you guys on the other side.